welcome back to Turf Talk Tout Edition alongside James Scully and James, you and I and Vance have been giving out a lot of free picks on Twin Spires and Brisnet and just wanted to have a little fireside chat with you mm -hmm. about how you approach. You have all these races all day, you have to narrow it down to one pick for the masses, what uh, finally leads you to that uh, golden choice? Well, that's a good question, Ed. Thank you. <laughs> You know, a lot of times I'm just like I'm focusing on the race layout. I mean, the first thing I do is I try to look at a field and get a good feel for like how the race is going to set up, how it's going to lay out. And I'm looking for a horse that has a tactical advantage uh, quite often where whether there's speed or there's a lot of speed in the field and they're going to come off the pace and it sets up well. And as you know, I mean, one of my favorite uh, uh, angles is class, I, I think, Class droppers get to bet, be over bet uh, in parimutuel wagering, and those are the kind of horses I like to try to beat. And I love horses that are in good form that are like stepping up a level. Yeah, that's uh, I definitely like that. One of the things, and we see it a lot at Churchill, the races written there. Uh, some people, for some reason, shy away from maidens that go into the N2L level or the N1X. To me, if they're in form and they're you know showing they're as fast as the rest of the group, I have no problem yeah. betting a maiden right back. Uh, but more to the point about the, the touting, um, you know, I, I like the tactical thing because you know I like to give people a thrill. Mm -hmm. So either you want a forwardly placed horse or horses to be in the mix. I actually do try to shy away from deep, deep closers because you might never be in the race, and that's no fun for people who are playing. Uh, odds wise, do you have a, like a target you look at? Do you try to be pick a race where you can beat the favorite, you're willing to lean on a favorite, what's your strategy there? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'll try to, look, I'm like value, so I'm, I might give a horse as low as like three to one on the morning line, but that's pretty much like my, uh, my basement, you know. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not gonna tell like nine to five or two to one <laughs> shots uh, as a free pick, so. I will. Uh, I, to me, if there's even money is the yeah. floor. I mean, I don't want to get out of two to five. Anyone can see the tote board. And to that point, anyone can read the tote board for who the favorite is. But to me, if I really love a horse who's going to be three to two uh, that I think should be even money, then, you know, maybe it's free money for the players. Right. And I'll, I'll look at it. But otherwise, I will look at, you know, okay, wh which races do I not like the favorite? And then who's the most likely of that? And I'll go from there so yeah and I think that's you know just generally in handicap and I'm, I'm looking at a 10 race car today at Saratoga absolutely which races are the favorite are vulnerable and is, is one of the you know my major objectives to identify yep, absolutely uh, what's the highest price you've ever given out I had an 1140 winner like last no week. I meant ever ever oh just ever, ever, yeah, ever 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 no well, I mean the, I guess the highest profile one was I'll have another one in the Kentucky yeah. Derby. Well, no, Fast and Accurate was higher than that. Well, yeah, Fast and Accurate this year, and yeah. plus I was on uh, the Philly in the uh, Fantasy. I tapped oh, her, yeah. a big price for asking. Yeah, you had a really, really strong spring in that regard, for yeah. sure. Yeah. So. What do you, uh, well, I wanted to thank you for coming here. A big part of handicapping for me is snacks. Uh, so I brought some beef jerky and wanted you to pick out your favorite for your drive <laughs> for your drive back. All right, uh, bacon jerky. That sounds sweet good. Sweet chipotle. And what's this one? Garlic chili pepper. Oh, uh, I'll go with the garlic garlic chili pepper. All right, garlic chili pepper <laughs> jerky for uh, James Scully. Hopefully, some winners for our viewers. Uh, we got a free pick going out today at Saratoga uh, that I tabbed, and uh, we'll have picks all weekend with the races. We shot nine point with the Pacific Classic in Alabama. So hopefully, lots of winners. Yeah, definitely. It's going to be and a, lots of flavor for you. Yeah, big weekend, Pacific Classic this weekend, Travers next weekend, and then Labor Day. So this is a real exciting time. Absolutely. All right, that's it. Uh, James, safe travels to Saratoga next week. All right. We'll be there live for the Travers. We'll be here with some picks. Have a great weekend.